Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, before we get started, I just want to say, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be showing you how you can remove unwanted things or people from your images. Um, now, this can be quite complicated if you have a really complicated image, um, a really large image. But we're going to be using this image as an example today and how we can get rid of people from our image. Um, now, this can also be used for getting rid of unwanted things, for example, in the sand or smoothing things out. Um, but yeah, that's the plan today. We're going to be using Photoshop. Now, this won't be a particularly long video, but I've had a few people message me as requests on to do this video. So before we do get started, it'd be great if you could go check out our course. That is the top link in the description where we teach you how to color grade and edit things in a lot more detail while we make certain edits um, and how to pick apart other people's edits. Um, but without any further ado, let's just jump into this video. So the first thing we're going to do is press Command J or Control J on this layer here. So we're going to duplicate it to another layer. This is just so we can show before and after. Now I've done control click to rasterize this layer, which means we can now edit this layer. But if we turn this layer off and on again, we'll be able to see the original underneath. So we can kind of see what difference this has made. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to press S on our keyboard, or we're going to come down to the clone stamp tool, which is this sort of looking weird looking tool here. And what this does is it takes a part of your image and it will replace or copy that over another part of your image. So one of the first things you need to do here is identify the area you're going to get rid of. So we're going to remove these two people here just to start off with. We're going to work around in this corner up here just to start off with. So the first thing you want to do is press control, click. Alternatively, you can come up here. Oops, you can come up here and you can adjust the hardness up here. So you want to make sure the hardness is below 20%. That's just going to make the feathering around the outside quite um, uh, large, which basically means that it's going to be a lot harder to tell where the seams are, I guess, of where we copied one part of the image onto the other. So then all you do is find a part of the image which is similar. So we want somewhere with like sort of dark water. So here I think it's going to be a good bet. Press Option or Alt on your keyboard and then click where you want it to take the sort of clone from. And then you'll see here if I drag the mouse over these people and I click, it then removes them and copies the part from over there. Now obviously if I were to do it over here, you can see what it's doing is it's dragging part of the water over onto the beach. But you can see what it does is it takes the selection from the distance between where you clicked to where you are going to be clicking. Um, so it won't always take the selection from there. It will take it in relative to where your position of the brush is. So you could then keep moving around and removing things from your image, which is quite a handy way of looking at it and handy way of doing things because it kind of speeds up the whole process. So for example, removing these two people here is going to be fairly quick and easy because that part of the water is going to be very similar to the part just next to it. So we don't need to keep on remaking the selections. Now in some situations you will need to do this like up here, for example, because there will be no selection to the right of my brush right now because that is out of the screen, I'm going to have to click somewhere below it and then obviously paint over that person there. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to try and remove these people here. We're going to try and see what happens when we just drag the brush down without remaking selections. So you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, yep, I'm just going to continue with the no selections like this and paste it on top. Now you wouldn't actually know that, that I had actually gone ahead and removed anything here. One of the good things about using it on things like the sea or an uneven surface is because it's quite a random surface, a random texture, when you get random dots everywhere you don't really notice it. Now one thing I will say is here you can see it's copied this area here over to this area here um, and it's just too obviously like the same shape dark patch. So what I'm going to do is just click again here and hopefully you can see you hide it a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is come on to the uh, quick selection tool. And we're going to try a new method where we will highlight the area that we want to um, kind of remove or hide. So like this, sort of like that. It doesn't need to be this large a selection around it. You can make it smaller. Then we're going to do shift delete or shift um, backspace. And then you can see you come up with this fill tool. So you can fill it with a color if you want. But we're going to be using content aware. So excuse the bike in the background. So content aware, which is basically going to tell um, Photoshop to look for pixels around this area and then duplicate them into this area here. And what it will do, hopefully, is hide these people here in this selection. So we click OK and then press Command D to deselect. You can see what it's done there. So it's actually quite good, quite effective, and it's a really good way of doing it quickly. Now, instead of using this tool here, you can 
you want to do it quicker use the lasso selection so just press L on my keyboard and you can just click around the people here my computer's lagging a bit and then you can do the same thing again as long as you've made a selection that you want to um, remove shift delete again content aware and then just click OK you can see it just removes them again there's command D to remove now sometimes it doesn't do such a good a job like it did there it works better if you've got a smaller area or a more even surface say for example a blue sky where you just want to extend the image you can do it the same there as well I'll give you an example now so if we just increase the size of the canvas by pressing C on our keyboard and just dragging this up here what you're gonna see now is uh, I'm gonna try and duplicate some of this C actually I'm gonna do it a different way I'm gonna do it on the right of the image just because we've got a very different textured color here um, it doesn't always work that well so I'll show you the best example when I drag it to the right here so what I'm gonna try and do is extend this image to the right using that selection tool that I just showed you now so we're gonna press M on our keyboard which is for the marquee tool that's just um, we're gonna select an area like this drag it down and we're gonna go to about here and you'll see what I've done is taken the selection into the image a bit more that's because what it's gonna do is take these pixels here this part of the image here and then recreate what it thinks should be in this missing area here so shift delete on the keyboard click OK for content aware wait for that to load and it should do an okay job it'll look slightly uneven but then from there you can use the clone stamp tool to clone areas from this part of the image into this part of the image here now this only really works very well I'll press command D and remove that if we already have a clear part of the image around here but you can see if I did this on too larger area it just looks too repetitive but if you were to go S on the keyboard or come down to the clone stamp tool and continue just sort of cl cloning parts of this actual area of the C around here and pressing over here you wouldn't really be able to tell so we're gonna go ahead and try and remove some more people just using the clone stamp tool just because that seemed to be the best way that works um, and you can see just how quickly you can go ahead and remove certain aspects of the image so I'm gonna come down here remove this person down here all along the waterfront you can really see how quickly I mean, excusing the fact that my computer is really lagging right now you can really see just how quickly you can remove things from an image now the other thing you could try if you wanted to is using the uh, healing tool which is this little plaster here um, and that does a very similar thing if my computer loads and what that will do is it will select an area of the image and you'll just brush over it as if it's a brush and it will then kind of use content aware to remove that part of the image so I'll show you what it looks like here it's best it's like a spot removal tool best for removing I don't know spots on someone's face or specks on the lens uh, of a camera but you can also use it like this as well so you can see kind of how good it is at getting rid of some things so for example this person down here on the beach and if you want to you can draw a big circle around an area now making sure that the feather radius is kind of outside the area you want to get rid of because it will sometimes not remove the whole area but you can actually use this one quite quickly say for example in the sand it does actually work quite well um, one thing I'm going to try now is just doing a massive sort of circle over here just to see how well it copes because sometimes it can be really obvious that it isn't working well and then you see these little areas here we can just go in touch those up using the um, clone stamp tool but you can see there like you wouldn't know anything was in this part of the image so I'm just gonna really quickly see what happens when we just leave it to get through all of these parts of the image um, like I said at the beginning this wasn't gonna be a very long video but I hope it does help some of you out a lot of the time you'll end up taking a photo of a waterfall for example or a sunset and there'll be hundreds of thousands of people in the photo and you really can't get rid of them the only way you can get rid of them actually in camera is by taking a long, long exposure but that's sometimes not always an option so it's a great way to do it in post you can just come into Photoshop you can remove some people you can make the image larger if you want to crop it for um, Instagram it's not the right size um, it's a great idea great thing to do so if you guys did enjoy this video it'd be great if you could go and follow us on Instagram subscribe to the channel our Instagram links are down below um, and go ahead and check out the course